What is up guys, it's your boy Gage and Horny today bringing you guys some awesome, amazing Friday high school stories. Ah, oh, it feels like it's been forever since I talked to you guys. Today I got an awesome, awesome, amazing story guys. But before we get into it, did you guys, can you, can you guys see this? Can you see it? No? No? Move in a little bit closer. Yeah, there. Can you see it on my head? See it right there? Yeah, that's some drawing. Yeah, I went to school all day looking like that. Like, what? How did I go to school looking like that? How does that even happen? Ah, it's amazing. It just blew my mind. I'm just like, ah. But my friend, oh, Ryan, you guys know, he drew on my head, and I didn't even know. I fell asleep in class, and he was just like, hee 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 Didn't even know. Until I got home, and he texted me. He's like, oh, by the way. I'm like, what? Looked in the mirror. I'm like, went the whole day. Anyways, guys, I got an awesome video for you guys today. And this one is actually talking about my very first time driving stick. Terrible experience. Just terrible. Before we jump into this, I just want you to know that it is a terrible experience and you're just going to laugh at me. All the way up to 17 years old, I have never drove stick. Ever. Never touched it, never nothing. The only time I ever even know like anything learning about stick was when I went to driver's ed and they read from this one chapter, this is how you change it, da 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 da, and that's it. I don't even remember anything's good. Cause my first, you know, I drove my mom's car and everyone and my family and everyone else's family, my grandparents, everybody just had automatics. No one has a stick anymore. But then finally, I got my first automatic car. It was automatic, you know, it was a nice little Mazda. It was a really, oh, I forgot, I don't know what the sub model is, but it was a nice 1994 Mazda. It was a nice car. I really, really, really liked it. And it was just, I, it was just an awesome car, you know. So, uh, but it was an old car, you know. It was fast. It was nice. It felt like cozy. Just, it was cool to see and have my own car, but it was beat up. It was terrible. I had over 200,000 miles on it. It was just terrible. And so it kept breaking down. I invested just oh, like thousands of dollars into this car. I bought it for like 2500 And it was just, oh, it was just a pain in the butt. It kept breaking. The transmission broke. And like everything, the tires, the the, the, the fluent, just everything kept breaking. And I felt like every time I turned the corner, uh, the, something would break. And so I'd pull all my money out of my savings and be like, okay, here you go, you freaking car. This car ate my money like crazy. But God, was it good on gas. It was amazing. So then I was like, all right, so it's lawn, you know, I have to mow lawns, and I've been mowing lawns, like, probably my whole life, you know, and so, finally, I'm like, hey, you know, let's, uh, let's, you know, I, let's get really big at this job, so I bought a truck, that's the reason I have my blue truck, um, my little Ranger, uh, Ford Ranger, and it only has 84,000 miles, and it's four years later than my Mazda, so 1998, and so, it's, it's amazing, though, it's, I, I love this truck, it's just, you know, I, everyone says GMC and Toyota and all these other trucks are better, and I was actually looking for a t Toyota Tacoma, because they're good on gas, they're durable, they're awesome, I looked up reviews, my uncle that I kind of told you about, that is a, like, I maybe even billionaire, I don't even know, you know, um, but, uh, he is, like, not my close uncle, like, I don't know anything about him, I couldn't even tell you, like, his... Uh, middle name <laughs> or like what is anything of his favorite like we're not close at all he lives in Iowa though but he's an awesome guy I, I every time he does come to town or like we do see each other which is like once a year uh, he's a really awesome guy and I do love him he's you know his family so anyway so um I had to tell you guys this because he uh, he knows all about the stuff and his new dealership is Toyota and he's telling me dude Toyota Tacoma way to be it'll be perfect for your little business and your little stuff I'm like all right so I looked everywhere couldn't find one but I found this Ford Ranger and it was for four grand but I talked the dude down to thirty one fifty yeah no not really my grandpa talked the dude down to thirty one fifty he was an insurance man so he like knows how to talk to people or something I don't know he just has this like click way with people I don't know but he's just he's like I just like to think of our family. Uh, the Collins just just click with people. I just feel like we're really like people friendly. We just click with people. Like even myself, I just know that I'm so, you know, I was a bad kid back in the day and no one's gonna lie about that. But uh, I just always like when I met new people, met teachers, my mom's friends or anybody else, I was just super nice to them and like totally was like who I should have been, but I was hanging out with the wrong friend crowd and if you hang out with the wrong crowd, that's who you become and I'm totally an example of that, trust me. But um, so, you know, he told me to get this and whatever truck, couldn't find one. Finally found this truck and I got it for 3150 and with all the mileage and this little small blue truck, you guys probably have seen it before, but it's a nice little Ford Ranger, you know, I like it. It's a really cute car, you know, and it will get my lawn mowing business done. So, but the thing is, is when we first called the guy up to go get it, 
what do you know? We get in, and there's, like, this lever. I'm like, is, is, wait, is, is this stick? And for some reason, when I was looking in the car, I didn't notice that it was stick. I wasn't even, like, really looking at it. I don't even, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking for some reason. But he's, and I was like, well, he's like, yeah, well, yeah, it is, it is stick. This is, this is uh, the gear shift and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, crap. And by the way, buying this truck was one of the worst experiences ever. The guy that sold it to me was a complete crazy dude. Like, oh, my gosh, like. Yeah, that's a whole different story, but it was crazy. But anyway, so, you know, this was just the beginning of last summer, end of my junior year, you know, it's senior year right now, it was the end of my junior year, and, uh, you know, I needed a truck to mow my lawns, and so I can get every, all my equipment everywhere, because when I had my Mazda, I had to open up my trunk and put my lawnmower in the trunk, and it was just bad, you know? And so, and it kept breaking down, and I was like, all right, when I fix it, finally, I'm like, all right, Mom, I, I need a truck for the summer anyways, and before this thing breaks again, I need to sell it. So that's when I sold it, and so I got, I got that off my hands, you know. I'm like, here you go, guys. <laughs> you, you keep it. It's, it's, it's awesome. But no, I let him know all the difficulties, and I guess he ended up, he wanted to, like, uh, he's a mechanic, and he wanted to scrap it and stuff like that. And so I, was, I didn't really understand the story he was telling me, but anyway, so... Uh, so he, my grandpa's like, you know, we're looking at it, and the guy's like, and he drives me around. He's like, you want to, like, he drives around with me, and my grandpa is still where we were, because my grandpa was with me buying the truck, because my mom was at work. So my grandpa, which is his insurance man, so of course I have to have him with me, and he has like seventy or like fifty years of experience selling stuff and buying stuff. So of course I'm gonna bring the smartest guy I know with me, my great grandpa. So he comes with me anyways there, you know, and I'm driving. He's driving me around. He's like, all right, so you want to try driving? And I'm like. Sure. So I was like, all right, I remember, can you put it in the first? He was like, can you remember how, right? And I'm like, y you put this in first, right? And I was like, why well, do I want to go? He's like, well, we have to press the clutch. I'm like, oh, duh. Yeah, I forgot. And I'm like, okay, this is the clutch. And I put it in first gear. And I'm like, all right, okay, I, I got this. All right. So I hit the gas, I hit the gas and like let go of the brake like super fast. And like it, the car just, you know, shuts off, you know, it jerked, you know. And that's the thing is that's the hardest part. I, I don't know who couldn't agree with me, but I think the hardest part about stick is just learning the letting off the clutch and then hitting the gas. Like that sensitivity is so hard. When I first learned, I could not get the hang of it. I just couldn't do it. Finally, you know, we talked and we talked for like a good two hours. And then we actually took it up to my grandpa's really good friend that's actually like a professor and teaches mechanics to his house, you know, and the guy, the guy, we like talk to the guy, we're like, we're just going to take it up, have him look at it. And then like 10 minutes after we left his house with the truck, just to have my grandpa's friend look at it, the dude calls us back up. He's like, where's my truck? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you, dude, I told you, once we get up to our friend's house, don't even know how it's possible. But two minutes after we get up to my grandpa's friend's house to have him check the truck, the other dude shows up and he's like, so this is where you took my truck. You're taking some house or you messing with it? We're like, no, we're having him look at it. Like, and he wasn't even under the hood yet. Like he was getting his... Like, taking off his jacket and stuff so he could look in the, under the hood. And then this dude just rolls up. I don't know. I'm like, you really came all the way up here? Like, God, dude. And some trust issues. I guess I can kind of understand. But seriously? Like, God. I mean, we gave you our phone numbers. You have our license plates. You, what more? Like, I don't even know what more you need. So, anyway, some stuff happened and whatever. So, finally, uh, some paperwork gets done. And it's finally my truck. Thank God. So, it's my truck. And my grandpa's like, all right, let's take you up to, you know, like, work on it. You know, and it's about... 3 p.m., you know, I don't have work. My cousin was actually in town, my cousin Tosh, and I love her so much. She's like my best cousin ever. And, you know, she wanted me to come see her, and I was like, I'll come see you after I practice. So we go up to this huge parking lot, right? Me and my grandpa, and he parks his thing, and he's like, all right, so let's start training you. I know how to do this. I'm up there for three and a half hours, guys. Three and a half hours in the parking lot. After that three and a half hours, I still could not drive that stick, but I was getting better at it. I finally got to the point where, uh, and three and a half hours later, and I know it was three and a half hours because by the time we got there, it was like it was around like three o'clock or whatever, and then we didn't get done till like you know four, five, six, six thirty ish, and like that's when I looked at my time and I remember something because I was gonna meet my cousin at seven, and I was like, oh, it's getting close to seven or whatever, but. <laughs> Uh, I, it got to the point to where I could finally get it to run and not jerk and then car dies I actually got to the point where I let go of the clutch really fast But hit slam on the gas and I'd start going but what happens is what happens when you do that You're like all right you, you, and you take off you know and you spin all the tires really fast and it takes off your tread and Super bad. I could not do it for the life of me and I'm just like how this thing's so complicated and I was actually started resorting I'm like what if I actually had this car from a, a, a semi-automatic to an automatic. Ooh, that, you know, I started, like, 
when I got home, I actually started Googling it, and I'm like, oh, $1,000 to do that. I'm like, okay, well, that's not possible. He already bought me the truck. I gotta learn, I thought it was the hardest thing in the world. But then, you know, my grandpa, because this is one of the big things, I kind of said this on my YouTube channel before somewhere, I don't know if it was my gaming or vlog, but with me, I once, you know, I, it's so hard for me to learn. It takes me a little bit longer or maybe a lot longer sometimes to learn something. But once I'm good at it or once I get it, I do really good at it. And it does sound kind of cocky and I'm sure it's probably the same with most people, but that's how I am. I just don't click it. Like when I'm in dance, I just, I get I get confused with my dance moves, you know, and I'm just like, ah, wait, wait, wait. And I have them show me it like 15 times. But finally, once I get it, I feel like I got it just perfect. And you know, my dance choreographer would be like, oh, that's perfect. Do it just like that. There you go. So once it clicks in my head, I get it. So finally, you know, we're up there and he's like, so, all right, Gage, well, I have a couple things to run. You do want to, I'll like, leave you up here, but I got to go run these a uh, couple errands real quick. And I'm like, all right. He leaves and I'm stuck here in this parking lot with my truck and my phone. I'm actually just texting the whole time. And I'm like, all right, you know, and, I, and everyone's like, hasn't texted back yet. And I'm like, all right, well, let me put my phone down for a second. Try this. All right. Did it again. Took off. I'm like, ah. So I kept there and I'm like, okay, wait, wait. What if I just like slowly press the gas while I'm letting off the clutch at the same time. What if I just totally just do it really super slow? And I did it. I slowly let off the clutch and hit the gas slowly and it went off perfect. But the thing is, is actually in reality you can't like, every time you're at a stop sign and you're like here for three seconds and you're like slow, you can't do that. You actually got to get to the point where you're just like bam, because no one wants to sit there after you know, some just waiting there for you to freaking slowly take off in your vehicle. No, you need to like work a stick shift how it should be worked. So I finally got to that point, and then finally, after being there about 45 minutes, I got it down. I was like, oh my gosh, I was so excited and so happy. Because like, I was so proud, I'd like stop it, and like, some people would come by, and I'm just like, I'd start up the start up the truck, and I'd just be like, ching, what's up? Second gear, what's up? Ching, third gear. And I got it, and it's just crazy. And I even practiced like doing the reverse. The reverse took me like a couple of seconds to get it. I'm like, cause like I don't know. I felt weird doing it reverse because I couldn't like feel my feet. Like when I'm like looking like this, like looking back, and then like doing that, it kind of just felt a little bit weird. But after a while, I got that. It's been about an hour and a half. My grandpa comes back, you know, and he's like, "All right, so how are you doing?" Or like he rolls up on the side of me, and I was texting him again because you know I already had a lot of practice. And I was up there for like an hour and a half, and he's like, "I'm like, get in." He's like, "You got this." You want me to show you again? I'm like, no, no, just get in. So he gets in, I do it, he's like, Gage, you're getting in again, all excited. But the whole like three and a half hours he was with me, he was getting so frustrated because he like, he's like, Gage, and he'd like look out the window and he's just like getting frustrated because I can understand, like, you're with me and all you're trying to explain is this simple, this, that's, that's it. Just, that's all you're trying to explain. Can you believe it took someone three and a half hours to get that? Yeah, <laughs> it's complicated for me. But once I got that, like, that, that levelness, I'm like, boom, clicked in my head, and I did it perfectly. Actually, it was so good. When my mom was actually, you need to come back home, but have sure grandpa drives it home. You drive back his mat, his or his automatic truck, you know, whatever. It wasn't a truck. It's like a. I don't know what they're called, but it's a Yukon. A Yukon. It was a two-door Yukon, which is actually really rare. I don't know, like, what kind of sub-brand. And then it's, like, even cooler than that where... Oh, what was it? Jimmy Kimmel. I think it was, like... It was the manager of, like, Jimmy Kimmel or some kind of host show. Uh, or Jimmy Fallon or whatever. Uh, gosh. Some kind of host. I forgot. But it was the manager of some kind of famous TV show where he got this two-door Yukon, which is crazy, right? I'm, like... Oh my gosh, it, maybe it couldn't have been Ellen. It, had, it was some dude, you know, I don't remember though, some host of a show, but the manager of the host of the show um, is, uh, it, it was his car. So a two-door Yukon, I don't know what the things are on it, but anyways, it's really rare, which is super cool. And it only has like 50,000 miles and it's made forever ago. So I was like, gosh, Gramps, that's a really awesome truck. So anyways, I love driving it and you know, we get back home, but I was so good at it, like I was explaining. Um, when we got back home, my mom was like, you can't do that. Now I have to go to work, you cannot drive that car. When my mom left, instead of taking, um, uh, you know, because my mom left and I had to go to work, but I was still there with my grandpa and we were just talking and we were still looking at this truck, kind of looking at it, talking about some stuff maybe we have to fix. And by the way, the guy that 
uh, sold it to me, didn't tell me the window was broken, did not tell me the air conditioning didn't work, lied to me that he got the tires a month ago, he actually had the, the tires for like an estimated of nine months, that's what the mechanics told me, what about that, also the oil hasn't been changed recently, I was overdue for an oil change, like when they looked at it, it was completely dirty and it was super low, super things, oh and the headlights are out, which are still out to this day because we still, I'm still like trying to, uh, I don't know, I just never got around to it, uh, uh, that, not the headlights, but the brights, the brights are out, but I still have lights and the lights work perfectly I can still see just fine in the night um, so I just need to get some brights you know put in it, it I went to one mechanic shop and they were like we don't know what's wrong with them like you guys are the mechanics like what am I supposed to do and that's exactly that don't go to this oh god I'm not, I don't want to put a bad name out there for someone I just think it was like a, maybe he's tired I don't even know but he comes back and he's like we don't know what's wrong with the brights and I just never went to another mechanic shop because I have lights you know headlights work fine but anyways but when I first got it one of the headlights was out the brights don't work he just told me all the stuff that didn't happen so I had to get all this fixed I actually got all of it fixed but my brights and I even you know got some other extra stuff cool stuff inside of it and it's just awesome so Anyways, I'm just very thankful my grandpa did all this for me, but once my, uh, oh, and I was just like, explaining, uh, as my grandpa, as my mom left, and I was like, so you want to borrow my car, and I'll take this truck, you know, back home, and whenever you're done hanging out with Tosh, you can just bring him back up to the house, I'm like, um, no, I think I got his, and he's like, and he didn't hear my mom say I couldn't take it, so he's like, alright, so when he left, I took the truck, and I did it perfectly, except for once I had it die when I went to an intersection. I, I was so embarrassed because it died, and I'm like, crap, and everyone's looking at me, and I'm trying to start it back up, and I go off, and I'm like, oh, God, it jerked, it jerked too, because I was so nervous, and I had let off too fast, but at least I took off out of the middle of this intersection. That was embarrassing, but it was super awesome, and I finally picked up my cousin, like, this is your new truck? I'm like, yeah, and we hung out the rest of the night, and that's cool. It's just a fun day. Anyway, so... As a, you know, it took me a good, like, day to get the stick down. It, it's, it, <laughs> that did not sound weird. Um, but if you, for you guys that don't know how to drive stick, just ask someone that does, and then just simply practice, and that's all it takes is some practice. Once you get that sensitivity, the rest is just simple, knowing, like, when the engine is rumming really high, you gotta switch gears, and stuff like that. It's just super cool, and it, I love it. So, thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. I hope you guys enjoy the High School Stores. Be sure to leave a like for more, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.